Welcome to this year's State of the Schools. I'm Matt Hill, Superintendent of the Burbank Unified School District. I'm Charlene Tabbitt, President of Board of Education for the Burbank Unified School District. On behalf of our 21 schools, over 14,000 students, and 1,700 employees, we welcome you to this event. We look forward to sharing some of the highlights from this past year, as well as our goals for the future. Whether you're a new family to BUSD, or a multi-generation old school like myself, a business partner, or a community member who's just interested in what's happening in our schools, we welcome you. As we all know, we're here for our students. So this year, we're gonna have the students lead the way. So I'm gonna hand the baton off to the students, so enjoy the show. Thanks, Matt and Char. The first item on our agenda is to find out what do you like about school? What I like about school is all the fun activities and learning. What do I love about school? I love teaching. I absolutely love teaching. Do we have enough time to talk about all the things I love about school? The best part about school that I adore and love, that I get to see everyday growth and social skills being created before my very eyes. What I love about school is the fact that I get to learn new things every day and see my friends. And I love my awesome teachers. Okay. What makes Burbank School so special? I always ask at the beginning of the year, how many of your parents went to this school? Always hands. How many of your grandparents? Every year, there's always a few. People stick around, they stay, they build that community, and I really enjoy that aspect. Burbank is a very unique, special place, and it shows every day, inside and outside the classrooms. The families know each other, and it's a really welcoming environment. I always tell people when I meet them that it's a small community, but it has all the niceties of a big city. So it's, it just feels like a, a wonderful community to be part of. We're a family. We know one another. We can collaborate with one another. There's just such a strong bond between everybody, and it's nice to know that there's like people who care and really want to like help out in the district. You see in some districts, some communities, arts is an add-on after the fact. That's not the case here in Burbank. Arts are embedded in the curriculum that we have here. Our teachers are being innovative every single day. It makes education fun and builds that skill set so that our students can adapt. I love music and I love to sing, I love to dance, I love to act. And I'm just really excited because I love to do all that stuff and I can do it here. I really, truly believe that the arts really make a difference in our students' lives. Um, I've been here for a long time so I've actually been able to see firsthand. When students do not have extra activities like art, like music, dance, science, it, it takes away from their love of school. And I want children to love school because education is so important. And what role does the Arts and Education Foundation play in all this? As most people know, California it, schools are incredibly underfunded. Um, and with the failure of Measure I to pass two times here in Burbank, we, we need more money. And so that's where BAAF hopes to come in and with your help, fill in those gaps and we can help teachers with the things they can't get. The foundation is incredible. It not only raises money, but it advocates for the arts. It advocates for education. They are there to support and back up innovation. It brings such a rich culture into our schools. The grants that they have given throughout the years have given students opportunities that they may not have had otherwise. Hello, Burbank Arts and Education Foundation. I'm Eli Weiss. I'm part of the John Burroughs Tech Program. I'm here to show you some cool things here and kind of what we do around here. So let's go. So this is our tech teacher, Katrina. Hi, my name is Katrina Villarreal, and I'm the technical theater director here at Burroughs. I've worked for Disney. I've worked for Knott's Berry Farm. I've worked across 
the two theme parks for a while. I've been on two world tours. Ariana Grande, uh, the weekend. I've worked with Maggie Rogers. I've done a bunch of stuff here with the different different production houses. And so yeah, she knows a thing or two about lights and she graduated from here. Also, our crew is great. That's probably why we won best in the nation in New York this year. And yeah, so that brings us now to our wonderful stage. This is where tech kids can tech around, singers can sing around, and actors can act around. And there are a lot of lights. No, really, there are a lot of lights. These are the spots. These are the studio commands. These are the stage lights. These are the rogues. These are the X4s. Thank you, Burbank Arts and Education Foundation, for those lights. And that is an exit sign. So you might be wondering how all this works. Well, that's where my brother comes in at the light board. Plenty of people run it, but he's helping us right now. So Aiden, how does all this stuff work? Well, Eli, I'd love to tell you all about the things that the light board can do. Uh, one of the things that uh, is like one of the basic functions of the light board is that you can basically bring down a submaster, which is, uh, brings down the intensity of a cue list, which also shuts down parameters like pan and tail, color, and all those things. Once you bring so it back up, every single thing comes back up. Every single thing comes back up. And here we have a grandmaster. So grandmaster has to control all the lights. Uh, snap as well. We also have a 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 snap as no, 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 no more questions. I'm good. I'm gonna go to the soundboard because I know how to. I know how to do do sound too. All right. Oh. Oh. Well, if lighting or sound isn't your thing, there are plenty of other options in Tech Crew, like rigging. Whenever you see any of those set pieces flown in or out, or those curtains flown in and out during shows, or those lights hung up, that's all rigging's job. Second black leg flying out. Thank you. Backstage can be anything like rigging, or people setting up mics, or stage managers, or even master electricians. They basically stay back here in case anything goes wrong, technically. And these are the spots. Now there's probably other, other positions that we have in tech. We plenty of other things we do in tech group. That's just a few things I like about it. My favorite part of my job is seeing you guys work and seeing all the stuff that you've learned throughout the year and applying it to an actual show. The way that your smiles are after the show ends is incredible because you guys know you've done a good job and you did it with minimal mistakes, but it was still a beautiful show nonetheless. And you guys have done like 55 shows this year and you've executed all of them perfectly and to everybody's delight. I just want to thank you guys, the Burbank Arts and Education Foundation, for all the lighting that you guys allowed us to get through the grant. These lights that are spotlighting me or a part of the grant. We bought four more lights on top of that, so five lights uh, with everything that you guys have given us, and we couldn't be more grateful. The shows that these kids produced were beautiful because of it, and I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Burning Arts and Education Foundation and State of Schools to help me show you guys about what we do here at John Burroughs Stage Tech. And thank you to everyone who's been here and helped us get to where we are today. And we'll end this off with a bit of a light show here. So. Uh, while Eli finds his way out of the dark, let's take a look at a light bulb of a different kind. Hi, my name is Isola. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm going to be interviewing um, two students from Edison Elementary. Hi, my name is Kyla Wilson, and I am in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Deluca Sanchez, and I am also in fifth grade. So for first question, why do you think art is important for kids your age? Um, for to have like creativity in their mind and release stress. What are you excited about tomorrow with the project? 
I'm very excited to see how he is going to, how he's going to arrange us and how it's going to look in the end. Regarding the art uh, project tomorrow, what are uh, some things you're excited about? Um, I'm excited we get to like dress up um, and we get to be like, we get to, like for part of it, we get to be like a not light, light bulb and then they're gonna, we get to turn into a light bulb. Oh, why do you think art is important for kids? Well, there's lots of different kinds of art and art that um, reflects what is happening to the planet that they might not see in the usual way. Sometimes art can reach people when their minds are open and it can kind of stick in their brain about, about what's happening when, it's, does, when, it's, when it uh, goes into their mind in an artistic way. And kids never forget this, these, these sky art projects, they remember them their whole life. People, um, they were wearing like white shirts and then some yellow and then it was white. First a white light bulb since our thing it was, was like a white turned light off, bulb. And then the next photo was turned on with yeah, yellow shirts. Yeah, and everyone was yellow, wearing yellow shirts. Nico was on the top of the light bulb. Let's hear about some more of those grants that were awarded last year. I'm Chris Mitchell. I'm a teacher at Huerta Middle School. I teach exploring engineering as well as digital media and computer classes on the wheel. This grant will allow me to introduce robotics into three more classes uh, this year and subsequent years. So it's going to be affecting several hundred kids a year. One of the things I like best about this program is that students, once they are exposed to engineering and coding, have lots of opportunities to pursue that in high school and college. My name is Eric Carter. I'm a teacher on special assignment with the Department of Special Education. Since the pandemic, technology has been infused with everything that we do in our curriculum instruction. And with that, I wanted to find some additional tools for our special ed students. So the grant is being used towards purchasing the licenses for these Google extensions that will help students access their curriculum instruction by removing some barriers that they may have in written expression and reading comprehension. It also is providing for professional development for our teaching staff who are new to using these Google extensions and tools for our students. My name is Erica Dent. I am a second grade teacher at Joaquin Miller Elementary School. I wrote the grant to bring in diverse guided reading books. That could mean main characters who are diverse culturally, linguistically, they have different family structures or differently abled children. Seeing different characters and different experiences will help enrich them and open up their eyes to people who are similar to them as well as different. Diversity, equity, and inclusion is very important to me. I'm a very proud child of two immigrant parents from Mexico. I was afforded a lot of opportunity and I learned at a very young age I was different. So as an educator, it's important that we embrace everyone's background, everyone's narrative, and it also allows us to be different and accept those differences. Being able to read different experiences through literature is allowing my students to understand and to step into someone else's shoes and see things through their eyes and see how not everything is just how they themselves have experienced it, but maybe I need to take other points of view into consideration. And so building that empathy goes forward into the community later on, since so many people stay in Burbank, that stays in our community to hopefully build more equity and inclusion and diversity and just general understanding of people. And so if we have those lessons now, I really feel like that's what helps us avoid the lack of charity, the lack of empathy, the lack of just compassion, which is what we need to have to survive as a society. One of the best things that Burbank School does is provide that, those kinds of school climates where students get to come in and not only feel included into a school culture, but then also be proud of who they are. Hello, my name is James Larigo, and I'm here with Leo Malmister, Sophia Wagner, Alexandria Walters. Is, do you think a name of a school is important? Um, sí, Dolores Huerta ha hecho muchas cosas para nuestra comunidad y para California, y estoy feliz que podemos represent representar ella en con una escuela. Do you think it is important to have art in public places? 
Um, I do think it's important to have art in public places because it can spark imagination and it's just a change of scenery sometimes to see some color. Pienso que es, uh, sí es importante tener a, a arte in, en lugares públicos porque inspira imaginación y es un cambio en escenario. How does this mural of Dolores Huerta make you feel? Um, the mural definitely inspires me because of all the things she's done and it kind of has inspired me to do stuff like that myself. Right now, we are giving tours to our incoming sixth graders, and that's my first stop, because I want them to see what Dolores Huerta represents, and it represents them. Oh my God, I'm going to get emotional. Because <laughs> I don't want them to come into middle school feeling that they have to change who they are. I want them to come to middle school knowing that their culture, their language, their traditions are welcomed. There's a lot of things that kids cannot control. They can't control how many people live in their household. They can't control their parents' finances. They can't control who their parents are. But knowing how to express that or look for help so they can feel better inside or how to navigate those issues will reflect in their academics, in their personal life, in their growth. The community needs thriving adults to function properly, and we need to raise those children in order to be those adults. Public schools are no longer just solely academic institutions. They are community institutions. They are expected <laughs> to take care of social emotional needs, to feed children, to be there for childcare, to make sure that kids know how to make friends and know how to be decent human beings. We need, we need support. I believe companies and individuals should take a long look at what the mission of the foundation truly is. It's not just about raising money. There's a purpose behind what those dollars get used for. To engage, engage and, and inspire, inspire the community to, to invest, invest in meeting the diverse educational, educational needs of every, of, every of every BUSD student. I'd like to encourage everyone to be a part of our reoccurring donations. These donations consistently fill that bucket that we need in order to provide the programs and the adventures that we want our kids to have in BUSD. And now a message from Assembly Member Laura Friedman. Good evening, everyone. I'm Assembly Member Laura Friedman. It's so great to have an event that highlights the achievement of our public schools our students and our teachers, as well as the BUSD Board of Education's initiatives. I want to express my gratitude for all the hard work and the enthusiasm you all bring every day. Education isn't easy for anyone, but Burbank has a wonderful community that is truly invested in the education and success of our students. And that makes the experience so much more enriching and fun for everyone. Thank you to Burbank Arts and Education Foundation and BUSD for valuing equity, inclusion, and innovation, and for making sure that our students and teachers in Burbank have the support that they need to grow and thrive. The work that you all are doing is meaningful and essential to our collective well being as Californians. Have a wonderful evening and keep up the fantastic work. Hi, I'm State Senator Anthony Portentino, and it's so great to be back to school. I just want to commend the Burbank Arts and Education Foundation for bringing us all together today, and those families out there who have their kids going to school in the wonderful Burbank Unified School District. What a great year it's going to be. We've had a trying time. We've turned the page. It's exciting. By the way, I'm jealous. My kids are out of K-12 education and out of the house, and I wish I was going through that experience again. So thank you, Burbank Arts and Education Foundation, the teachers, the administrators, the parents, the children, for being exciting as we go back to school. What a great day. What a great time to hear about the state of the schools in Burbank, and God bless everybody. Thank you, Senator Portentino. Let's take a look at what we can expect in the upcoming school year. This year's Burbank Unified School District's goals are to have career and college ready students. Two, students and staff will be physically, emotionally, and mentally healthy this year. Three, 
to hire and retain highly effective personnel. And finally, to have effective and efficient operations. Obviously, safety and the well-being of our students and staff is priority one, and we're going to continue to focus on that. But more importantly, this year we get to focus on teaching and learning, make that the center again to what we do. I'm excited to see all the innovations from our preschool classrooms all the way through our adult school classrooms. People come to Burbank in order to be a part of our schools. We need to keep that reputation in place so that they know they are living in this expensive town, getting the best education for their kids and it's worth staying for. So our dreams for the future are continuing to look out there and find out what are the skill sets that our students need for the jobs of the future. We know many of these jobs don't exist today, but we need to make sure our students have the skill sets and the ability to adapt to a changing workforce. We continue to partner with our community colleges, Glendale as well as LA Valley Community College, to have dual enrollment classes where our students can leave high school with high school and college credit and get experience with hands-on partnerships. In addition, our beautiful partnerships with the Chamber, the studios, and other businesses in the city. So our students have pathways, whether it's our NAF academies, which can be finance, medical, engineering, animation. Our students are getting the skills they need to thrive in the future. I'm looking forward to just seeing continued growth and hopefully as a district and schools we can continue to provide them with good resources that will help you know, our kids be successful and be productive members of society. We know that not everyone's going to go to college, but if they can see themselves doing something else, we're, done, we're doing a good job. I'm really excited about our new partnership with West Coast Customs. Ryan and his team worked with our adult school team and we are creating a one-of-a-kind academy where our high school recent graduates and our adult school students can get a hands-on experience at the site at West Coast Customs. This is something unique and innovative and it's another example of how Burbank's always leading the way in innovative ways to have our students career and college ready. Good evening, I'm Congressman Adam Schiff, proud representative of California's 28th Congressional District, which includes the wonderful city of Burbank. I want to offer my best wishes as you gather for the Burbank Arts and Education Foundation's 2022 State of the Schools event. Since 2020, when the Burbank Educational Foundation and the Burbank Arts for All Foundation merged, you have taken unprecedented steps to ensure that all students get a fabulous education and are exposed to the beauty of the arts. The COVID-19 pandemic took a toll on all of us and none more so than our children. But thanks to your efforts, our kids will be back in their classrooms and on campuses throughout the district, thriving the way it should be. I applaud everyone in the Burbank Arts and Education Foundation for your incredible work to provide our children with a strong multidisciplinary education. Thank you for all that you do for our students, and for our future. Thank you. Thanks, Representative Schiff. It's true. BAEF and BUSD is a great partnership. I am a proud member of the Burbank Unified School District. I am a proud advocate of this foundation. You don't have to contribute. You just have to advocate and learn about this foundation and what our school district is doing. I support BAEF because I believe in public school and I believe that it's our job. It's our community's job to educate our children. Like education is the great equalizer. And if we're not providing for our kids and we're not giving them an equitable experience throughout our schools, um, then we're not doing our job. And so I'm part of Burbank Arts and Education Foundation to make sure that all schools, all students are getting what they need. When we have a thriving school district, we have a thriving community. We need your monthly donation to continue our support of BUSD students. Go to baef.gives now. We invite you to continue this conversation with our webinar following this broadcast. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.